Good morning, Wrightsville. Um, this is Wrightsville United Methodist Church Sunday School, and we're the Wilsons. I'm Courtney. David. Reeves. And we're here to talk about a call to worship. That's the title today. And we're going to study one of the Psalms, Psalm 100. And we're going to tell you about that. But before we jump into the lesson, Will you please pause the video and everyone needs to run and find something around their house that's a noise maker. So I have something that's wooden and makes noise. Wow, Dave's banging the chandeliers and we've got, Reeves got a musical instrument. Play it, Reeves. So pick an instrument, a kitchen item, you can get anything that makes noise and meet us back here. All right, so welcome back. We're going to talk about a call to worship in Psalm 100. And psalms are hymns or praise from the Bible. And Dave is going to read to you about Psalm 100. Psalm 100, 1 through 5. Psalms 100 has been called a song of thanksgiving and a call to worship. This psalm tells us about God. God is good. God made us. God loves us forever. God is faithful, and he tells us how to worship God. We, worship, we should celebrate God. We should shout for joy, give thanks and praise to God, bless God's name, and enjoy God's love. God is our shepherd, and shepherds lead us to food, provides lots of water. He loves his sheep and knows them by name. We are God's sheep, and God loves and cares for us. All right, so... We also will learn a verse of the day, or it could be the verse of the month. Um, it's a great um, memory verse that you can practice on your own or with your family. So the verse um, today from Psalm 100 is Psalm 100, verse 1. And that is, Shout, Shout triumphantly, triumphantly to, to the, the Lord, Lord all, all the earth. earth. Shout triumphantly to the Lord all the earth. So, hey Reeves, what does triumphantly mean? Triumphantly means... In a way that shows great happiness. Great happiness or, or joy. joy. So, triumphantly is a way that shows great happiness or joy. So, let's say our verse of the day with great happiness and joy. And even, it says shout. So shout, shout, <laughs> let it all out. These are the things or we should. You can, <laughs> if you're really joyful, you can bring some Tears for Fears lyrics in for the adults. Or you can just read the verse of the day, which is, Shout, Shout triumphantly, triumphantly to, to the, the Lord, Lord, all the, the earth. earth. And use your noisemaker. we're basically praising the Lord. So how do you praise the Lord? There's so many ways. So I'm going to do a quick activity yeah, using nice. this craft. And um, the craft has different ways that we praise the Lord. Serve, thanks, praise, and worship. So Reeves, pick a word. Any word. Thank. Thank. So thank has five letters in it. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to pick a number in here. Um, three? Okay. So three is help keep the church clean. So that's a great way to worship, um, after worship, cleaning the church. And you had a great idea, Reeves, about... Um, what was your idea about keeping the church clean? Don't, um, don't, like, go eat on the stage or anything. Yeah, don't eat on the stage or bring, um, food or drink and spill it in the sanctuary so we can pick up our, uh, bulletins, things like that, are a great way to keep the church clean. And that's actually a great way, um, just to be in service at the church. So, um, this is a great way to practice and think of ways um, each inside of here is different ways that you can serve, thank, praise, and worship. And if you're interested in this craft, you can make your own and inside write examples of ways that you want to praise and then pick one 
and if you want this particular item, you can actually um, maybe email Christina Norville and we can get you a copy of the actual craft. So, and you can make a joyful and triumphant noise unto the Lord, right? So, uh, in our church, I think we do a great job of making joyful noises unto the Lord. We do it with music. We do it with Vacation Bible School. We do it with um, activities that we do that are just exciting and fun and that are service. So think of a joyful song, Reeves. Do you know any songs that start with have joy in them? Joy to the world. Joy to the world. Dave, you got one? Joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Yeah, and I was thinking... Um, I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. So that's another song that, you know, we think of when we're praising and worshiping God. So this week, ask yourself and your family, how will we worship? How will we praise God? And you can do it with this craft that I showed you. Again, if you want to email Miss Christina, I can make sure she has a copy of it. Um, and then another quick way is just remembering um, a little phrase where you say someone's name and God finds joy in you. So think of your best friend or your church friend or a teacher or grandmother and say their name. Hey, Grandma Smith, God finds joy in you. Hey, William, God finds joy in you. Hey, Christina Norville, God finds joy in you. And you just repeat that phrase and that's a great way to practice um, joy through service and worship. So um, let's repeat our verse of the month. Shout triumphantly to the Lord, all the earth, and let's do it with lots of great happiness and joy. And then we'll end in prayer. You ready? Shout, Shout triumphantly, triumphantly to the, the Lord, all the earth. your um, worshiping with us through Sunday school today. So bow our heads in prayer. Dear God, help us find joy in every situation and not let anything distract us from the joy of being your child. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So as you finish the video, um, Think about um, ways that you can show praise and joy. And one way to practice this is when you stop the video, go search Chris Tomlin. He did, he's a Christian artist, and he did an actual song about Psalm 100. So you can pull it up when you finish this, and you and your family can learn the words and dance and have happiness and joy and play your noisemakers and learn the words to Chris Tomlin's song. And so, also, bump those numbers up. We only had 45 views last week of YouTube Sunday School, so bump those numbers yeah, up. Yeah, so send it to your friend and tell them that you got um, that you find joy in them and you wanted to share this week's Sunday School class. And let's see if we can get a bunch of views and likes on our Sunday School page. We get 100 <laughs> views. Courtney will perform a new version of the one, Psalm 100. <laughs> and Thank then, you. Um, try to... Um, Su subscribe so you can watch our um watch the um Sunday um the service, service. Or yeah the Sunday schools yeah so you can see all the rightsful um worship services that were provided throughout the week so up those numbers and remember that God finds joy in you thanks for